On the moon, something is constantly exploding, glowing, flying and falling. Glowing UFOs fly out of lunar craters and patrol the orbit. Virtual archaeologists comb the lunar surface 5x5 five five and find evidence of an alien presence. Dozens of man-made objects of unknown purpose. They also come to the attention of scientists. For example, the Chinese satellite Chinsam-2 took something resembling a building on the moon. Geologist Mikhail Borodachev believes that there is a silicon organic civilization on the moon. However, nothing to do with anonymous stones. We are talking about the substance on which the DNA of these creatures is recorded, but otherwise they are the same as us humans, the investigator is sure. Any person has a reasonable question where in the dead lunar desert one can find a shelter for life. Today, the popular hypothesis is that civilization may be hiding under the surface. In the 2008 year, the Japanese Kagaya probe discovered this strange object on the far side of the moon. Here is a picture that the device transmitted to Earth. Take a closer look, there is not a shadow on it, but a deep hole leading under the surface. And these pictures were taken by a NASA space probe. They also clearly show that the hole leads deep into the moon. Today, astronomers have counted 200 more of the same mysterious passages with a diameter of 5 to 900 meters. Experts say that there is a system of tunnels under the lunar surface, in which lunar inhabitants may be hiding. And this is a beautiful, but not the only hypothesis. There is an opinion that life on the moon is still present only in its infancy, in the form of microscopic bacteria and spores tightly sealed in grains of lunar soil. She is waiting for favorable conditions to come in order to start developing. It is possible that in a few million years, when volcanoes wake up on the moon, the water will melt and the atmosphere will appear. Its surface, like the South American Atacama Desert, will bloom and come to life overnight. But no one knows whether humanity will live up to this moment. Moreover, David Icke claims that the moon was originally designed by a high-tech alien race unknown to us to cover our planet from a meteor attack. But the Anunnaki captured the moon to limit people's perception of reality. This, according to him, is the most effective way to control people. Zulu legends, Gnostic books, sources of the Cathars, Egyptians and others say that a very advanced race created the moon and brought it here as a base, but today we are under its control, as if in the lunar matrix. Even the magicians of ancient Mexico believed that long before the appearance of the moon, man was a perfect being, a source of amazing insights and high knowledge. According to the English researcher, the moon is a giant spaceship that flew from afar, entered a circular orbit and hung motionless above the Earth. But what evidence is there for this? According to the researcher, there are works of ancient Greek philosophers. Among them, even Aristotle and Plutarch wrote about pre-lunar times. Now look at this. Titicaca. A high-altitude lake in South America. Nearby are the remains of the ancient city of Tiahuanaco. All this is at an altitude of 4 kilometers. How did the city end up here? Ruins of port facilities, shells, remains of fish and marine animals were found in its vicinity. Perhaps Tiahuanaco is a former port city. If so, then it arose before the beginning of the rise of the Ang, the longest mountain system on Earth. Geologists attribute the rise of the ant to the tertiary period. 60 to 70 million years ago. Scientists also believe that around this time an asteroid hit the Earth, which led to the death of dinosaurs, earthquakes and, in all likelihood, the formation of mountain ranges. This is the official version. And if we assume that the asteroid did not fall. Just in the area of Titicaca, the ocean level dropped sharply by 4 kilometers. 
Accordingly, the rocky bottom protruded outwards and turned into mountains. So the Andes arose. And the city, originally built on a rocky bottom, has grown noticeably. It remains to answer the question, what event could have dropped the ocean by as much as 4 kilometers? According to the researcher, only one thing is the appearance of the moon in the sky. Under the influence of its attraction, the shape of our planet became pear-shaped, and there was a redistribution of huge masses of water. The ocean has left the city of Tiawanaka. Although salinity is still felt in the high-altitude Lake Titicaca. Accordingly, in other parts of the world, many cities were flooded. Drowned settlements of Japanese Atlantis, buildings of ancient Greek cities are known. But the main thing is different. David Tyke claims that with the help of the moon as a radiator, the Anunnaki are able to cause holograms, illusions in the minds of people. There is a reason, because even astronauts in orbit often hear music, barking dogs and the sound of rain, although they are deprived of earthly sensations. Do we really live in a lunar matrix in which aliens are able to influence even our collective consciousness? Our DNA is a wave information field, and invisible entities can use emitters to influence it in a purity accessible to ordinary people. Look at what a mysterious creature astronomers photographed the other day. It looks like a giant snake. But where do snakes come from in space? Until now, it was believed that life there was impossible, that ultraviolet light would destroy anyone without a spacesuit. However, the experiments of scientists have proved that photographic equipment is able to capture what is invisible to the human eye. There was a hypothesis that space snakes. These are ethereal living beings who are everywhere beyond the boundaries of three-dimensional reality. Using infrared radiation, the researchers photographed the places of magnetic anomalies. And indeed, the pictures showed monsters similar, but prehistoric pterodactyls, mythical chimeras and snake-like creatures. It is known that Tibetan books mention shining snakes and gods who came from the darkness. They were able to change their appearance, penetrate through the stronghold and built palaces of gold underground. In Maya sculptures, gods are often depicted with the head of a dragon. The Slavs had their own Chernobog, sometimes in the form of a snake, personifying the forces of the elements. Well-known publicist and conspiracy theorist David Tyke claims that in ancient times snakes and gods left their priests on earth, whose descendants ruled the world today. They created banking and political systems, multinational corporations, they invented globalization, because it's easier to control the world that way.